Welcome to Vermont Fish and Wildlife's Invasive Species Program LEAP. These videos and accompanying web pages will help you to locate, identify, evaluate and treat, and prevent the spread of these invasive species. This video covers zebra mussels. So zebra mussels right now in Vermont are present in only two waters. They're located everywhere from one end to the lake uh, to the other in Lake Champlain. And they're also present in Lake Bombazine. They're a small mollusk, um, it's a bivalve, and they have uh, black and white stripes, which is why they're called zebra mussels. Um, they have uh, sticky threads that grow out of their shell called visceral threads that allow them to attach to hard surfaces. Zebra mussels are filter feeders. They feed primarily on plankton. And so when the zebra mussels feed on that and reduce the abundance, uh, it takes food away from our, our native animals and organisms. Zebra mussels uh, often cause problems because their uh, habit of attaching to things, zebra mussels encrusting their water intake pipes, and it, it's costly to um, clean that out. Spread prevention is really the most important step that we can take as concerned people in terms of um, aquatic nuisance species. They can be transported easily in water. So not only can they be spread just by drifting and floating throughout a normal system or, or a river, um, they could be sucked into uh, pumps, um, put in live wells. Without even realizing it, that water could have larval microscopic zebra mussels present. If you were then to take that bait bucket or um, live well to another lake, you may have just accidentally introduced zebra mussels to that water. You could also accidentally um, get zebra mussels wrapped around your boat trailer because they might be stuck to or growing on um, the plant stems. It's really important for everybody who are concerned citizens to take the necessary precautions to stop spreading them to new waters. So make sure all of your equipment that you used has been cleaned, drained, and dried. For more information about zebra mussels, contact Vermont Fish and Wildlife.